Hello and welcome to another Demis Helen tutorial. Today we are looking at the Psytrance uh, track once again. Uh, in the previous video we looked at the Vanguard sequence here which goes like this. So very acidic, very fast paced. Uh, we are at 150 BPM as well. I'm making a slightly faster track. Uh, and I can't remember if at the end of the last tutorial or I did it after I recorded, I found some sounds on Splice. Um, so we have a nice kind of bass reverse thing here. We have a nice little kind of electronic sound and then we have like a pew sound here. So let's just listen to these three sounds on their own. So we have that one, and then we have this one, and finally we have this one. Okay, and they're all in the key of F. If I was to go over to splice sounds here, you can see them here. Uh, and that one. Uh, and then I think I'm also using this one. I think. More energy, more power. And that's the one that is the driving force, which is this one here. More energy, more power. All right. Um, so how I'm going to integrate these sounds. So I've created a separate track. It's called Brutal Murder because this is the original track it was on. You can see here. So duplication without renaming. So we're going to call these effects delayed. And then on the mixer, uh, which you can't see currently on this screen, uh, we've got a room works and then we've got this mono delay which is on but we want a stereo delay so I'll drag it across in a second uh, so you can see stereo it would help if it came up quicker so I could show you the uh, stereo delay here we are so I'm just All right, so this has a nice bit of reverb uh, delay on it, but we don't want it to just kind of finish there. I want it to kind of melt into the track a little bit better. Um, so we're going to start with eighths. Uh, I'm just going to cut the low end off a little bit. Let, let's just give it a, a 12 o'clock cutoff. So it's like here, 437 ish. Just going to turn the mix down and I'm just going to increase the feedback. All right, so let's just see what happens here. So it kind of keeps going, so let's just turn the mix up again. So it looks like it had quarters on it, so let's just... Right, that lasts okay, and then it's here. No, we need, we need eights on there, so down, 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 that sort of speed. Let's have a bit of feedback. So I've just over top over the top mix there at 55. Let's just bring back some of the lows. And then the same for this sound. A little fade just before this one. <laughs> So that's without, that's with on. Right, let's listen to this in context. I thought things had slowed down here. Don't know why that happened. I must have done something somewhere along the line. I 
didn't believe a man existed who could not be stopped by a slug. Okay, so we've got a good sound going on there. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just load up Firefly uh, compressor. So there we are. Turn off analog. I'm just going to give it a three to one. <sighs> Keep the attack there. I'll probably increase the release and then we're just going to mess around with the threshold here. So let's just set it at 10. Double it. Right, I'm going to go for about 17 here. So it's got a good bit of volume on there, but it's, it's compressed down enough to control it. Okay, let's have a bit of transient on there, just adding the punch feature in here. Let's just zoom in. All right, so if you experienced a little glitch there in your your view, that's because the computer beach balled for some reason. So I've just turned off here so we can shorten this sound down. So let's just have another listen. So have it a bit longer. No, I prefer the shorter one. All right, so we've got a nice sound there. So we can use these anywhere now in the track. Maybe not this one. I don't really like the sound of that one. So we'll get rid of that one. Right, to emphasize the um, kind of the pace of the track, we will add on the mixer here so you can't see again because I'm off screen if I put on glitch should appear there. We can put the gator on. And then just turn the mix down. And then the same for this one. Let's just see what the distortion sounds like on here as well. That just adds a little bit more to the pace of the track instead of it being so smooth uh, like it is when you don't have the uh, the gate on. Like that. So let's just uh, bypass as it's playing. Okay, so that, let's just reduce it a bit more. Okay, so we've got a bit of pace there using the glitch, uh, and that's just moving those effects into there. So we could have this again here so we have more energy more power and then this effect here more energy more power and then we 
could have it here. And don't worry, this is also going to sit slightly different with the EQ. So the best way to show you, if I load up Pro Q3, we'll put a band pass on here. Um, so we can isolate some frequencies. So if we go to a band pass, uh, we'll make it fairly steep. Uh, let's just annoyingly have this on repeat for a second like that or maybe just before that sound there so we're isolating the frequencies we're getting rid of the bass information just removing a little bit of top end there So it's just concentrating those frequencies a little bit. So if we listen to it bypassed, and then on. Again, we'll rid of a lot of that information there. Just little bits and bobs that really kind of harbour the sound and make it sound different uh, in terms of how much mid-range it's giving off. Uh, if you had that little bit of low end in there, you start messing around with the kick and the bass areas. Uh, yeah, so that's a bit of effects integration. Um, we're going to have to start working on the arrangement next, I think. Uh, for the next video, I'll make sure everything's named and coloured appropriately. So on screen, you can see which sections are which. Uh, and then, obviously, when you start to ask me questions in the comments, I can start... Uh, obviously answering you quicker because you can see the colours, I can see the colours, and you can go, what about base number two in red? And then I can get straight to the answer straight for you or even do a video depending on what I haven't explained. Uh, so, yeah, that's just focusing on effects for this track. If you did like it, hit the like button uh, and also just drop a comment just to let me know what you uh, what your thoughts are on this track because this is going to be uh, a release track again. Uh, so I've got one coming out in January. I have my one ready for March. Uh, I've got my February track to conjure up yet and then this probably would be April possibly uh, as a release. I'm going to do one a month uh, and... Yeah, just keep them releases coming out so you've got something fresh, something to download yourself and listen to, and then you can use it as like comparison alongside these videos as well. Uh, and finally, we will have an Aeolia Master video. Uh, I'm going to show you how I prepped my track Aeolia for mastering uh, and then give you the before and the after sound just to show you, uh, just to give you an insight into what's going on in the world of mastering. Uh, and yeah, okie dokie. Right, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.